I am getting a flame sensed without valve energized error code on my Lennox G24M375A12. I have just replaced the blower motor and it worked for about 2 hours. Then shut off. I cannot get it going again. The flame sensor heats up and it flames for about 10 seconds and then the flame shuts off. Does this 3 to 4 times and shuts off. And I get two slow flashing lights corresponding to the above error code. Did you double check the thermostat settings? And what about the filters? Put new filter in when I replace blower. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? If I can. Anything else we should know to help you best? Thermostat is programmed to go down at certain time. I usually override this and keep at 68. When I put the new motor on I forgot to override and at 7 p.m. the thermostat lowered and furnace shut off. I started it again and now it will not stay lit. It was working fine and now the flame answer is glowing and furnace firing but it keeps shutting off. I have taken the sensor out and cleaned it too. 1. Igniter and flame sensor are two different parts. Flame sensor does not glow, the igniter does. 2. Is the error saying we have flame when we do not? This is flame sensor http colon slash www.hookpartshop.com slash 51m14 flameasensor.asps Okay. Sorry I'm an amateur. The igniter is glowing and it is flaming up for about 10 seconds and then the flame shuts off. Igniter stops glowing then glows again and flames for a shorter period of time and then flames out again. Picture sent is it. But it I straight without a 90 degree bend. Okay I totally understand. The flame sensor is a single steel rod with on wire attached. Have you cleaned the rod? I have cleaned. Excellent now even though the flame is not staying on you get error flame sensed without valve energized? You have one of three problems. 1. Ceramic on flame sensor is cracked allowing it to short to the bracket too. There is a skin place on wire between flame senor and board allowing it to short 3. Board is defective falsely sensing flame. Take a close look at the ceramic and the wire. The igniter is an easy fix but I do not know if that is what I need. But it is still glowing. The rod looks good, no cracks or anything. Wires are good. I have taken the rod out. Disconnected the quick connect and all looks okay. Put it back together add nothing changes. I get the same reaction each time. I have wiggled wires and unconnected and reconnected terminals, tapped on things. Nothing. You have a defective control board, this has nothing to do with the igniter. Replacing it will not solve anything. Do you need help locating a board online? If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.